Tom Benson from the Tennessee Aquarium and Katrina Cravens from the Hunter Museum have teamed up this time around, uh, which is sort of groundbreaking uh, territory, for a very unique exhibition featuring nature-inspired art. The different kinds of uh, of jellies, in particular, what do we what do what can we expect to see? Yeah, the first ones that you'll see are upside down jellies mm-hmm. and um, shallow it, water. You were telling me shallow water. They live in mangrove forests. They lay on their back with their tentacles up towards the sun. They have algae in their tissues, so it helps them produce food. And so a lot of people think it's cool that they you know they got the perfect job. You know, yeah. How how bad is that? <laughs> Tropical location, <laughs> lay on your back and All soak right. up the sun. Uh, moon jellies, uh, a spectacular display where you're going to be inside a jellyfish swarm. There's yeah. uh, mirrors on either end of this mm-hmm. huge hall of jellies. Um, we also have sea walnuts, which have, um, they're like little prisms. They look like protozoan. When you see pictures of protozoan moving mm-hmm. and how the, uh, I forget, aviola? No, it's not. The, it's a, Like a little light, light show. Yeah, the cilia. Yeah, yeah. Cilia, that's and, right. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then the blubber jellies are fun. They're, they're very active mm-hmm. and kind of comical and, and very colorful. Uh, those are both next to the Marqueski pieces, so you get that living light uh, uh, contribution there. Mm-hmm. The West Coast sea nettles, people go, wow, because these guys have bells that are up to 18 inches in diameter. Yeah, they're, they're, their arms. Or, they look you know, fierce. 15 get, feet yeah, long. They look fierce. And uh, Tommy Spake was directly influenced to create his glass jellyfish by a visit to the Tennessee Aquarium and, and viewing uh, sea nettle. Yeah, it, glass blowing it, is really a collaborative effort. Mm-hmm. Unless you're working on something that's really tiny, if you're a glass artist, um, you never work alone. The medium, it, it's just so heavy, and, and, and you always need folks to help you out. Um, Chattanooga artist Tommy Spake, who's part of the exhibition, calls working with glass the extreme sport in the art world. Yeah, it, yeah, it really it's it, it absolutely is. It's kind yeah. of gritty. It's certainly sweaty. If you've ever been in a glass studio, mm-hmm. you know, um, you got to be tough, and it's it's difficult. It's a heavy material to work with. Mm-hmm. Tom Benson from the Tennessee Aquarium and Katrina Craven from the Hunter Museum. Thank you very much, and and good luck to you. I know a lot of people are going to be very impressed, and uh, and it's a great idea to uh, to put the two together, aquarium and the Hunter Museum. It's going to introduce a lot of new people to a, a lot of new things, and that's what it's all about.